in the field of embryology, there was a group of students who collected all the data that they could find in the Quran as well as the Hadith dealing with embryology. And they followed the verse of the Quran, Surah Nahal, chapter number 16, verse 43, and Surah Ambiya, chapter number 21, verse number 7, which says, First, Alu Ahal Zikri in Kuntum La Talamu. If you don't know, if you are in doubt, ask the person who's knowledgeable. So these Arab students, they collected the verse of the Quran and the Hadith dealing with embryology and translated it into English and presented it to Prophet Keith Moore, that was about 30 years back, in the late 70s. And Professor Keith Moore at that time was one of the highest authorities in the field of embryology. And he was the head of the Department of Anatomy in the University of Toronto in Canada. When he went through all the translation verses of the Quran and the Hadith, he said that most of the verses of the Quran which speak about embryology are in perfect conformity with latest advances of embryology. But there are a couple of verses which I cannot say that they are right. Neither can I say they are wrong because I myself don't know about it. And two such verses were the first two verses of the Quran to be revealed of Surah Ikra or Surah Alaq, chapter 96, verse number one and two, which says, Ikra bismi rabbikal lazi khalaq. Khalqal insana min alaq. Read, recite, proclaim in the name of thy Lord who has created who has created the human beings from something which clings a leech-like substance. So Prophet Keith Moore said, I don't know whether the human beings, the embryo, embryology means it's the study of the development of the human being, the early stages of human being in the womb of the mother, for those who don't know. He said that I do not know whether initial stages of the embryo, that's the initial stages of human being, it looks like a leech or not. So he went in his laboratory and under a very powerful microscope observed the early stages of the embryo and compared it with the photograph of a leech. And he was astonished at the striking resemblance. And later, when 80 questions were asked to him regarding embryology in the Quran and the Hadith, he said that if you had asked me these questions 30 years ago, that means from today more than 60 years back, I would not be able to answer more than 50% because embryology is a new branch of medicine which has developed recently. And whatever additional information he got, he included in the new edition of his book, The Developing Human. The Developing Human is one of the books referred by most of the students throughout the world in the first year of MBB, first year of medical college. And even I, when I was in the first year of the medical college, in Bombay, if we had to get just pass marks, we used to refer to the book written by Inder Bir Singh. If you wanted to score in embryology, we had to refer to the developing human by Professor Keith Moore. So Professor Keith Moore, he incorporated this new information he got from the Quran and the Hadith into the third edition of his book, The Developing Human, which got the award for the best medical book written by a single author. And later on, this book was translated into several languages of the world. And Professor Keith Moore said that this information in the Quran cannot come from a human source. The author of this Quran has to be Almighty God. And he said that he has no objection in agreeing that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was the messenger of this God. Imagine Prophet Keith Moore being a Christian said that.